You may have heard that I am no longer a Storm fan and I'm switching my allegiance to the Connecticut Sun. A big reason for that is Alyssa Thomas, the engine. Alyssa Thomas is my favorite WNBA player. If you've been following a while, you might be confused. Wasn't Gabby Williams her favorite player? Let's clear things up. Gabby Williams would be my favorite player, but she isn't currently playing, so it doesn't count. There's also the fact that Alyssa Thomas was the one that broke Gabrielle's foot on Kids Day last season, basically ending her season. So it's just the natural order of things. I am legally obligated to be an AT fan now. In true WNBA data fashion, let's cherry pick some stats to show why AT should be your favorite WNBA player if she isn't already. Let's start with the obvious, triple doubles. Now I could compute the number of WNBA triple doubles myself, but why would I when Across the Timeline has the perfect feature in their data explorer to find them all? As of May 24th, 2024, there have been 36 triple doubles in WNBA history. That is, there have been 36 times when a player has reached 10 or more in three different stat categories in a single game. Most of these have been points, assists, and rebounds, but two of these included blocks instead of assists. It's honestly so crazy to have 10 blocks in a game, I kind of feel like that should have a different name. But of these 36 triple doubles, 12 were done by Alyssa Thomas. And it isn't like she's been churning them out her whole career. Her first came in 2022 when she was 30 years old and in her ninth season. I may point out that there weren't a ton of triple doubles until 2022 and there was like a big boom starting in that year. I don't really know why, but I'm sure there's a hundred articles written about it, so. Okay, but of those 36 triple doubles, only five of them took place during the WNBA playoffs. Three of those were Alyssa Thomas, and two of those were in the 2022 finals against the Aces. And one of them was Courtney Vandersloot in a two overtime game, so I ignore. Just kidding, I love the Liberty. All of this to say that Alyssa Thomas has basically had every triple double in WNBA history. If you want to support the channel and make sure that everyone knows that Alyssa Thomas has had every triple double in WNBA history, you can buy a shirt to that effect on my shop. All right, we talked so much about triple doubles, but why do we care about triple doubles at all? Isn't it just an arbitrary mark? Yes, it is, and so is everything else in the world. But in the WNBA, a lot of players are good at scoring, some players are good at assists and rebounds, but not a lot of players are good at assisting and rebounding. Not many players are so well-rounded that they'll have 10 rebounds and 10 assists in a game. I've made some previous videos about how the WNBA and their positions are getting a lot less distinct statistics-wise. The positions are so muddled in the current WNBA that even GMs vote for Alyssa Thomas as the best player in two different positions. And I feel like Alyssa Thomas really exemplifies this trend away from traditional positions because she's basically playing as like a point center for the Sun. Which isn't a new thing, but not a lot of teams in the WNBA play with a point center. So it makes her really interesting to watch. It wouldn't be an Alyssa Thomas video without talking about her toughness. And it wouldn't be a WNBA data video without talking about free throw percentage. You've heard it a hundred times, but Alyssa Thomas has no shoulders. She injured each of her shoulders in 2015 and 2017, and she just plays with labral tears in both arms. She used to mostly shoot lefty, but she eventually switches shooting right-handed due to lack of range of motion in her left arm. I don't know all the details about her personal life, and I don't claim to, just a general fact about anyone in the WNBA, but it seems like she's just electing to not have surgery at the moment, which is fine since it seems like things are really working out for her. Since making the switch to shooting primarily with her right arm, she's actually seen an increase in her free throw percentage. She's had a general upward trend over her career. For most of her career, her free throw percentage has been less than 70, even less than 50 at some point, and the league average is usually around 80%. But she's definitely figured it out, and this season, she's currently on pace to have one of the better free throw seasons in her career. In 2024, she's averaging more free throw attempts per game than she ever has. So I'll definitely be keeping a close watch on this as the season goes on. We've now reached the miscellaneous section. What are the non-quantifiable reasons why I love Alyssa Thomas? We've got her connection to current UW coach Tina Langley, who was an assistant at Maryland when Alyssa Thomas was there. If I see Tina on campus someday, I'm gonna ask her to turn Savia Sellers into a 5'7 Alyssa Thomas for me. There's also her engagement to teammate Dewana Bonner, who is also a fun player to watch. Is she a guard? Is she a forward? I genuinely don't know, and I don't know who to ask. My tiny GF and I are considering getting their jerseys as a couple's outfit, which is saying a lot because my tiny GF hates to match outfits with me. I forgot to write a final reason, but I think it might have to be what Alyssa Thomas does when she doesn't have the ball. I like how sometimes she's just like standing there, like she's setting a screen or she's thinking of what to do next or waiting to get the ball passed back to her. But sometimes it's really funny to just watch her walk around. 
If you want a more general overview of Alyssa Thomas and her career, check out Quita's vid. I really recommend it. I recommend her channel. And be sure to check out all the links in the description so you can see how you can support me and my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.